TechFi, my name is Darren Kitchen, it's your weekly dose of Technolust, and today we are building a cross-platform OS detecting payload for the Bash Bunny, because I got a tweet. Check this out. So, Kuro Beats writes to Jason Street saying, hey man, do you know of a good Bash Bunny reverse shell payload that does an if-else based on the uh, operating system? Well, you're in luck, because there are two recent new features in the Bash Bunny that's gonna make just this possible. So, first and foremost is Get, which is an extension that get to your payload lots of different information, whether it's the switch position or the IP address of the target or the host name or any of those things, and it can now get the operating system using get target OS. So with that, let's go ahead and start building a payload. I've got my Bash Bunny here connected in arming mode. I've got my generic payload.txt, and that might look like basically get target OS. And what that's going to do is return a variable called target OS, which you could, I don't know, echo out if you wanted. That doesn't really do anything much useful, but that's what it's going to do. It's going to end map the target, figure out if it's a Windows Mac machine, a Mac or a Linux machine, and then give you either the word Windows, Mac or Linux as the return. So using that, we can actually do some if else, but to be honest, I'm just going to use a switch case because I think it's a uh, prettier way to do it, but we could do it the other way as well. So for that, we'll do case dollar target OS, and put that in quotes there, in, and then basically we just have to say the different conditions. So the different conditions are Windows, Mac, OS, and Linux. And then for each of those, we'll go ahead and say what to do. So I'll do LED, I don't know, red. So I'll do LED R for Windows, uh, LED G for green for Mac and on the Linux side we'll do RG or sorry LED B and then we finish our case statement by ESAC which is just case backwards but hey that's bash right so there we go that will determine the operating system but you're gonna know that there's a problem here right it figures out the target operating system by end mapping it and that's fantastic, so you're like, okay, cool, well, this the payload needs an attack mode, and it's obviously going to need to be an Ethernet attack mode for this to work. Yes, and as we know, well, Windows hosts like RNDIS Ethernet types, whereas Mac and Linux hosts like ECM Ethernet types. So what are you gonna do? Well, previously, you would just you know map them to different switch positions on your Bash Bunny, and then when you get to the target, you would just you know flip the switch and choose which payload to execute. Well, if you update to Bash Bunny version, uh, firmware version 1.5 or higher, you get a new awesome uh, attack mode for Ethernet called Auto Ethernet, which will automatically try the best Ethernet possibility for your target. So it starts with uh, ECM Ethernet, and then on a Windows box, it's going to be like, I don't know what to do, which is cool because then it'll just wait, time out, and then switch uh, failing back to RNDIS, and then your Windows machines are happy. So it will determine which uh, RNDIS or ECM Ethernet is most applicable to your target, and it basically looks like this. You could do attack mode auto Ethernet. And you can also specify a timeout if you don't like the default 20 second timeout. I can do ethernet underscore timeout underscore 40 for 40 seconds if I want. Now to pretty this up, we should probably start with LED setup before we do that so that we know, hey, it's now switching over to the attack mode. And then once it does pick whether it's gonna be RNDIS or ECM ethernet for that target, we can go ahead and choose a different attack mode. So in this case, we'll do LED attack so now we know it's gonna start blinking, like we've gotten an IP address from those guys, and we're good to start profiling them. And then the next thing is to get the target OS, and then depending on if it's Windows, Mac, or Linux, we're just gonna go ahead and run those appropriate things. Now, this could probably be cleaned up and made better with functions or calling other scripts, which we can totally extend upon. But for now, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and proof of concept this thing here, and save the payload, run it, and see what it does. So we safely eject the Bash Bunny, Unplug that guy. And now we're ready to start testing. Got a Windows machine booting up. And we're doing our setup. Gets an IP address, starts blinking to say it's in attack mode. Now it's going ahead and scanning it. And it goes red for Windows. Mac. Gonna go ahead and use a USB-C dongle here. Mac OS. 
and Linux. So there you go. What do you think? Submit your payload over at hack5.org slash payload for a huge Hack5 gift certificate. And until next week, I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your techno -less. If you've got a great idea, bring it to the web the way we do and head over to domain.com. I can't tell you how many times their domain discovery system has helped me find the perfect name. And their quick and easy checkout process means it's online in no time flat. And get this, the guys over at domain.com have been supporting Hack5 for years and they want to hook you up. Get 20% off at checkout at domain.com with the coupon code HAK5 and send your thanks over on Twitter at domain.com. So when you think domain names, think domain.com.